I do not believe in taking the right decision, I take a decision and make it right. If you will work in cooperation, forgetting the past, burying the hatchet, you are bound to succeed. No struggle can ever succeed without women participating side by side with men. You are free to go to your mosques or to any other place of worship in this state of Pakistan. My message to you all is of hope, courage, and confidence. Let us mobilize all our resources in a systematic and organized way and tackle the grave issues that confront us with grim determination and discipline worthy of a great nation. Let our object should be peace within, and peace without. We want to live peacefully and maintain cordial friendly relations with our immediate neighbors and with the world at large. Think well before selecting your leader, and when you have selected him, follow him. But in case you find his policy detrimental to your interests, kick him out. I insist you to strive. Work, work and only work for satisfaction with patience, humbleness and serve the nation. Never forget our motto, unity, discipline and faith. There are two powers in the world, one is the sword and the other is the pen. There is a great competition and rivalry between the two. There is a third power stronger than both, that of the women. With faith, discipline and selfless devotion to duty, there is nothing worthwhile that you cannot achieve. You have to stand guard over the development and maintenance of Islamic democracy, Islamic social justice and the equality of manhood in your own native soil. Expect the best, prepare for the worst. Think a hundred times before you take a decision, but once that decision is taken, stand by it as one man. You are free, you are free to go to your temples. You are free to go to your mosques or to any other places of worship in this state of Pakistan. You may belong to any religion, caste or creed, that has nothing to do with the business of the state. I have lived as plain Mr. Jinnah and I hope to die as plain Mr. Jinnah. I am very much averse to any title or honors and I will be more than happy if there was no prefix to my name. You will have to make up for the smallness of your size by your courage and selfless devotion to duty, for it is not life that matters, but the courage, fortitude and determination you bring to it. The great majority of us are Muslims. We follow the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. We are members of the Brotherhood of Islam in which all are equal in rights, dignity and self-respect. Consequently, we have a special and a very deep sense of unity. But make no mistake, Pakistan is not a theocracy or anything like it. My young friends, I look forward to you as the real makers of Pakistan, do not be exploited and do not be misled. Create amongst yourselves complete unity and solidarity. Set an example of what youth can do. Your main occupation should be in fairness to yourself, to your parents, in fairness to the state to devote your attention to your studies. If you fritter away your energies now, you will always regret. Character, courage, industry and perseverance are the four pillars on which the whole edifice of human life can be built and failure is a word unknown to me.